The Batman is back, fight fans! And he's got a whole new bat suit that's more than just a symbol of fear. It's a highly tactical uniform. So now we're throwing the Dark Knight into the ring to see how his signature suit stacks up against real tactical gear. We'll be breaking it down in three rounds. Body armor, the cowl, and the cape. It's the fat suit versus real world armor. Since Batman in 1989, Batman has graced the silver screen wearing many suits of armor. But what started as a simple black rubber suit has evolved over the years to be more technologically advanced. Real world armor has evolved a lot since the late 1980s too. Does Batman's new suit stand a chance against these innovations? Let's take a closer look. We're looking at the latest version of the Batsuit worn by Robert Pattinson in The Batman. It features the most tactile armor yet. This suit deflects bullets at close range and protects against explosions. Modern advancements have also helped real-world armor evolve. Soft armor is fibers woven together to create a strong material. It has become far more durable and flexible than the hard metal armor of the past. Super suits that used to seem utterly fictional are possible now. We're going to break down the most prominent attributes of the new Batsuit and see just how well they stack up against the real thing. Round 1. Body Armor Batman's new suit comes decked out with a triple-weave Kevlar structure that was custom-made to fit his body. This makes his Batsuit more protective and movable than any previous Batsuit. But this technology is old news, having been around since the 1960s. An unusual material to make armor is spider silk. The silk comes from genetically modified goat's milk with a similar texture and strength to spider silk. When woven, the silk makes armor even stronger than Batman's Kevlar suit. Soft armor like this is essentially a tightly woven net that absorbs the forward inertia of bullets, knives, or other blows and disperses it around the whole piece of armor. Due to its exceptional protective ability, we're giving the first round to real-world armor. Round 2. The Cowl The new Batsuit uses a separate cowl that tucks under the main body armor. While it's more flexible, that also means it's more vulnerable. So the cowl has an added collar that helps protect Batman's more exposed neck. The film shows Robert Pattinson's Batman taking bullets straight to his head at close range. Though they're not as theatrical, modern soldiers have worn protective face masks and goggles that can look quite intimidating. Both are made of lightweight Kevlar and can handle a hit from a bullet. Batman and soldiers will still feel the impacts of these hits. Being 100% bulletproof is impossible. Batman takes this round as his iconic cowl is far more nightmare-inducing than the military helmets on the market. Round 3. The Cape Aside from just looking cool, Batman's cape functions as a glider. Gliding from rooftop to rooftop is no easy feat, and we might even say it's impossible. Jumping off a building would have Batman falling at about 80 kilometers per hour. Landing on the ground without slowing his speed with a parachute would feel like getting hit by a car going 50 kilometers per hour. His cape also gets in the way when fighting. It could get caught on objects and enemies could use it against him. Knock it. The cape is helpful as a form of camouflage at night, but it's not very versatile if Batman needs to be unseen in daylight. 
Real-world armor includes multiple forms of camouflage for various environments, and flight suits and parachutes are much safer means of flight. So this round goes to real-world armor. And the winner by a big upset is real-world armor. Despite Wayne Tech's backing, there are more things today's armor can do in the real world than the bat suit is capable of. Are there super suits that you want to see compared to their real world counterparts? Let us know in the comments, and you might see the breakdown next time on Versus.